Hello and welcome to yet another edition of Swaraja Explains. Today we shall be speaking about the Gorkha land issue. Gorkha land is a northern Darjeeling hill area of Bengal. The people that inhabit this area are predominantly of the Nepali origin and speak the Nepali language. The Darjeeling hill has come to a standstill as the Gorkha Janmukti Morcha has called an indefinite strike that has today reached its 50th day. The strike is primarily oriented against the imposition of Bengali in schools in the Darjeeling hill areas. The demand for Gorkha land is largely based on an ethno-linguistic and cultural argument that the Gorkhas and the Bengalis are two distinct socio-ethnic groups. By that we mean the Gorkhas and the Bengalis look different, have different cultures and speak a different language. Since India is primarily a conglomeration of linguistic states, the demand for a separate Gorkha land is justified. The economic reasons too would support their argument. The Darjeeling Hill region isn't as developed as other parts of Bengal. Like so many Indian states, the majority of the focus of the state government has been on its capital, Kolkata, which has made the Gorkha people feel neglected. Darjeeling is 613 kilometers from Kolkata. To put it in perspective, Bengaluru is closer to Hyderabad than Darjeeling is to Kolkata. And Delhi is closer to Jammu than Darjeeling is to Kolkata. Economically, the three T's of tea, tourism and timber would be adequate for the small state like Gorkha land to survive and thrive. One cannot argue that the Gorkha land region would be better economically served by becoming a separate state. If the Telugu speaking people can have two states and the Hindi continuum can have more than five, then why shouldn't the Gorkhas be allowed to have a separate state? On ethnic, linguistic, cultural and economic reasons, the Gorkhas would be better served by becoming a separate state. The Nepali speakers of the region aren't demanding union with Nepal and separation from India. All they desire is their rights as Indians to create and manifest their own destiny. Yeah.